Okay, everybody, this is week four video review. Oop, look, I've got some stuff here I gotta delete while I'm on the video. This week wasn't as bad as week three um, with the dialogue fragments. I kind of manually did that on week three, spent a lot of time wasting my time basically on that, trying to get all my dialogues in one file. Um, this week, with a little bit of reading, I found that it's better to put it in a dialogue fragment. Versus just put it on your main thread as it is more controlled on the dialogue fragment so it won't run in the background or anything else like that or it won't interrupt your application. I have one still dialogue that's still running on the main thread just because I have so much tied into it. I don't want to get too deep into my application as we saw with last week it kind of just destroyed itself after a while. So let's go ahead and start my application so I'll go over some of the things on there. Um, and while that's loading, let's go ahead and take a look at what I added this week. So this week I actually added this on create options menu, which basically has my search functionality inside of it. Um, I found that a lot easier, a lot better for the user. So that way it's, it's more of a flush look to it. So when you tap on that search, it's going to go ahead and search, but at the moment, we don't have anything, so let's go ahead and put more data on there. So, the application itself, I mean, it has a lot of things on there that are just for this week. Um, obviously, there's not going to be a favorites of earthquakes. Um, or the shared location, I guess, could be a feature for the application, and the info and the saved preferences. Not necessarily for the application, so this menu is not going to be as overwhelming for the user. But let's go ahead and pick an hour or pick a time so we're gonna go ahead and pick the last day and it's gonna go ahead and load of course all those earthquakes so let's go ahead and start filtering them out so I use a little filter so you can see right there it'll go ahead and give me only the California um, you could actually search anything on here so if you only want to see significant earthquakes with the 2.0 so we'll go ahead and get one right there we can even search the date. So let's say if we only want some, um, let's get more on the screen. The past seven days. Now this may take a little bit longer. But let's say if you only want to search some that happened on a Friday, um, we can actually search that at the top um, action on the action bar. So we can go ahead and search everything that happened on a Friday. So we can go ahead and see all the earthquakes on Friday. As you see, this one here didn't even have a, a location. So I must have been out in the middle of the ocean somewhere. And that is my search functionality that I put on there. Um, I really like having it at the very top, and I really like how I have it filtering everything. Um, it wasn't just a fluke. Uh, I kind of like it that way. I tried to use um, specific filtering for filters. So you can go ahead and choose your intensity, quote-unquote, favorite. And we go ahead and choose three, and it'll go ahead and pull up all the three. It will also pull up, let's say if it's a 1.3, it will pull that up as well. As you can see here, most of it, I've been working on it, so most of it is 3. And let's see, let's go ahead and check out some of the other um, methods I implemented on here. So the shared location. So this will actually call this fragment. Oh, let's go ahead and lower this here. And on this fragment, it basically just pulls up one of my dialogues that I already wrote in the previous applications. And it'll go ahead and create it and get uh, the text information from it. And it'll send it back through my parent activity back to the main method. So let's go ahead and type something in here. So let's just go ahead and type uh, Chicago. And once we go ahead and type it, we'll go ahead and hit OK. And it'll, this, uh, it'll close that actual dialogue fragment. And once we go to the main thread here, you can see I can grab that information from display preferences. So if it's not false, well, I got a couple crashes on me that it will just crash on me when I try to pull it if it wasn't there. So if it, if it isn't false, I'll go ahead and grab the information and it will display it in a toast. And it will also display on the toast if there wasn't any as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So let's go ahead and display the saved preferences. And you can see there, Chicago, it did pull it from the preferences file that we created, which we actually create right here. I send the information back to the main thread to get it done there. 
like I said, this week wasn't as much as last week. wasn't as hard as last week. The whole fragments thing still has me thrown on the loop. Um, probably gonna spend this next week, the summer vacation we got coming, just to try to get a better grasp of it, a better understanding of it. The course itself is very different from our iOS and our HTML courses, as um, those basically gave us step-by-step -step instructions of how to do everything in videos. I mean, so we spent six, eight hours a week watching videos, whereas this one, it was more read the developer guides than anything, and I'm not really 200% sure when I'm reading those things to see if it actually it would actually work, or where do I put that method, or what are they actually even talking about? Um, that I believe that Google wanted that for actual developers to get more features into their application, not necessarily to learn. So it throws me for a loop every time I go. I get sent there for any of the lessons. Um, hopefully next month it would be more step-by-step -step instructions, more videos, and less being sent out to them, um, to developer guides or any other websites like that. But all in all, I learned a lot this month, and uh, I hope next month I learn more.